They hate me at the end of it. <laughs> and then I brainstormed this game show and I said, that sounds like a great idea, and I spent a year working on it. And now, all of that work has finally culminated in one final night where you get to see four fools make a fool out of themselves. Oh, it's just <laughs> so wonderful. <laughs> so thank you all for being here tonight. Forever thankful for all the great experiences. And now, it's time to introduce the four contestants and the loser sitting in the chair next to me. <laughs> yeah! First up, always taking half of the gold, it's Everett Palmer Schwartz! <laughs> ah. All that glitters is not gold, because sometimes it's her, it's Amelia Herbert! <laughs> A man who simply refuses to be bedazzled, it's Quincy Rossentwee! <laughs> and someone who is always finding an opportunity, opportunity to be bedazzled, it's Dorma! <laughs> and finally, someone, when I asked them if they could co-host this thing with me a year ago, said, What in the world are you talking about, Joseph? <laughs> It's actually so <laughs> so How are you feeling tonight, my dean of tasks, on our final episode of the season? Kind of sad, honestly, but also excited, you know? I think that our contestants have been through a lot, and um, now they're finally almost done. Truly, truly, after so many tasks, about, I don't know how many tasks we've been through, about 15 to be exact, am I correct in that? Something like that. About after 15 tasks, and after so many months of tribulations, they are finally here to celebrate all of their hard work and find out who might win this whole thing. <laughs> of course, we announced the episode winner at the end of the episode tonight, but Given us the last episode of the season, we also have to announce a season winner who takes home the grand prize at the end of it all. Speaking of which, what are the running point totals for this season going into the last episode? Great question, Joseph. Currently in last place, <laughs> for various reasons, <laughs> is Quincy. <laughs> Off. 
Given that this is a CPA show and they gave us a grand total of two dollars, <laughs> we don't. <laughs> 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 People are finally laughing at that one. <laughs> the first thing we have to do is bring in prizes, and so we let the contestants bring in their own prizes. Tonight we gave them a prompt. What might that prompt be, Ashley? They were asked to bring in their most golden, in quotes, item. Oh, fuck. Golden. <laughs> so many interpretations. Comedy gold, solid gold, invest in gold. Because the apocalypse is coming. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait. So, let's kick things off. Everett, what did you bring in tonight? Well, Joseph, you know, some people wear gold jewelry. Some people wear rings or necklaces. But what's better than being decked head to toe in gold? Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I present to you a full golden undershirt and waistcoat. Now, that's not just all. It's not just some golden clothes. Those are also lovely clothes, as I have looked up, in the style of the Gilded Age. And what does Gilded <laughs> mean, if not golden? <laughs> wow. I have to admit, Everett, pretty strong. I would love to be decked out in full gold when I go see my next performance of Hamilton. <laughs> wow. And the ruffles, too. Where did you get this from? I... I've been gifted it by my lovely roommate. <laughs> uh, so, who is this roommate? Is he in the crowd right now? Zeph Siebler, up there, in the corner. You, I gifted involuntarily. By <laughs> 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 and it will be gifted to a lucky winner tonight, regardless of whether Zeph says it's okay. <laughs> Alright, well thank you, Everett. Amelia! Okay, so I feel like we thought of a similar, you know, like, it's all about like what you wear. <laughs> um, and also, I feel like people for often forget in this cutthroat world the golden rule, and the golden rule is love. <laughs> yes. So one has to wonder, 
why the Dukes have hung on to 10 boxes <laughs> of an old CD for 30 years? Something like that. Um, just something to contemplate. <laughs> Dora, what did you bring in? Okay, so first of all, it's actually golden. But second of all, it gives you a golden opportunity. I have brought in a Medusa headband because, first of all, real gold, of course, definitely solid. <laughs> so, not from Party City. Um, I went on a quest to get it, you know, um, to Party City. And also, what is more of a golden opportunity than being able to turn your enemies into stone? And if it's functional? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you have presumably used it and killed people with it. <laughs> you know, um, I wouldn't told me not to talk about that, but... <laughs> and suddenly, uh, a box of 40 CDs doesn't sound as bad. <laughs> well, um, four pieces of, uh, or I'm sorry, three pieces of clothing and one box of CDs, which you will never get to listen to. Uh, I think it might be a little dry, <laughs> but as any gold, as they are golden, you all fill the prompt pretty well. Um, I think just for the pure flair and show of it all, I read, I'm going to give you five points. So you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I should be giving Zeph five points, but Everett, you take the credit. A gold Ross Roxy gold jacket. That's pretty top notch. Um, now, the rest are <laughs> kind of dragging their feet. It feels bad to give a box of CDs four points, especially of an acapella group that isn't mine. <laughs> but I have to say, the most quantity of gold, given that all of yeah. the CDs are gold, is 40 CDs. 132. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. <laughs> 132 CDs, all gold. That is pretty golden. Um, that is a, probably, I'd say, the most golden thing. So, four points to Quincy. I think a sweater, pretty bland for my like my liking, but the message is important, and I think we need to spread love, spread love more than hate. I'm so sorry for what? everything I've put you through this season. And I knew that maybe three points. Dora, until you kill somebody in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> what if I tell you it's not functional, it's just really cool? <laughs> I would say you're getting two points. <laughs> you know, but I feel like this is spreading hate, so. <laughs> oh, you can only have yin with yang, so. Five, four, three, two, go the points. And that is that. Well done, contestants, on your final prize task of the season. If I were one of you, I'd be itching with anticipation to take home all of these wonderful prizes. <laughs> What's our first task of the night, Ashley? Our first task is simply the go task. The go task. Well, if I recall correctly, this was the first ever task that we ever filmed with you all. <laughs> I, well, in our last episode of the season, I wanted to go back to the very first thing we ever filmed, to our very first moments together. It gets me choked up just talking about it. You've come so far, my contestants. But without all your experience, let's see who you are at face value. Let's start with Quincy, Dora, and Everett. Ooh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs>
That's going. That's like, gonna go far. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can go. We can walk a far away in seven minutes. Oh, we could go to the park that's there. 
<laughs> yeah, we could have been met there in like five minutes. What's the day walk? Sorry if I'm endangering your lives. <laughs> okay. Oh! <laughs> okay, yeah! Okay, give it, give it swinging a go. Um... Okay, um, I'm just gonna sprint that way to see if I can maximize my distance. Um... <laughs> How much time? Uh, you're time. Cool. All right. <laughs> well went. Well go. <laughs> if I didn't know that any better, I'd say love just a fit of the zoomies. <laughs> we just had some outward energy, some movement, and you sprinted out the door. <laughs> Oh, okay. Hey, we have six over here. Oh, actually. Okay. Awesome. You would think 
things. Talking man. Talking man. Talking man. Laser dexterity. Oh, laser dexterity. Yes. There. What is this? Where is it? Oh, hold on. Um, is there a mirror? Oh, oh there's, there's, there's a mirror. Oh. Where are we supposed to aim? Oh, probably at this. Yeah, wait. You're so close. You're so close. Maybe someone else though. Oh nice! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so good at laser. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, I think we're ahead of them. Let's okay. Amazing. 
vibes, amazing vibes. Compare that to Everett and Quincy, who every time they got points, they would jump up and down, clap their hands, and go, yay! <laughs> it's exciting! Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> it's enthusiastic. Yeah. I, and I really did appreciate, about, appreciate that about you guys. Um, and your enthusiastic spirit seemed to have helped you, because I would like to hear the scores, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Quincy and Everett finished with 100 points. Uh, Amelia and Dora finished with 25. <laughs> oh, for however inspirational that story is. <laughs> I <I'm just> <laughs> Let's try to turn the lights off. Totally 
Nothing, uh, nothing yet. Oh, wait, hold on the screen. Um, I'm gonna keep going through the cat scan. Because this is like... Yeah, this is gonna be about, like, different areas. Wait, is, uh, are all the lights still on? Um, so we have these these colors. Wait, where are the glasses? Oh. Oh. These masks are all of them, but the inner brights are different. Hear me out, hear me out. I want to I try this. I think it's good. Wait, what's up, guys? Like the eyes in there. Briefcase, we have... Pictures. I don't know okay. what they mean yet, but okay. here they are. Oh wait, there's kind of a difference. There definitely is. Can we just find their eyes? Oh, nice. Okay. Guys, we got CCTV access. Oh, wait, what? It's doing things. Look. Okay. <laughs> and then me. That's so weird. This is so weird. So then, like... I'm just not in any confusion. We've solved a bunch. Oh, that didn't do anything. Did you see the screen? No, screen. That's it. Oh, 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 it worked! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Right, okay. Oh, so, give, give, give me the first order. one is top right. Whoa, hi, That's camera. Right. How are you? Whoa! What? This is so cool. Okay. What? Sorry, I'm just, I'm just paying this. <laughs> <laughs> I do like impressive game design. Oh, Gary, have you figured this out yet? I, I think we just need the key. Yeah, we have one. Let's go. We're just missing one. That's right. Amazing job, Quincy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Donald McDonald's free, you know, free like. I don't understand. <laughs> Do we have any um, information about what you're doing? Wait, we have the same thought out. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. There's two patterns depending on which eye you close. Okay, yeah, just go. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Ready. Set. Go. Yes, we got received. Okay, can you guys help me? Can you guys help me figure out what his name is? I think that's all we need. My name is Doctor. Doctor. Hello. Hello. Guys, we do have. A stick, which we haven't used. Oh, okay. It's yeah, something like asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. It sounded like it was like so. Doctor Albatross. Wait, no, yes. Guys, I have his name. It was Wait, right here. Doctor Albatross. Doctor Albatross. Oh. Doctor Albatross. <laughs> 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 Before you do, I just want to say, 
I'm really disappointed because I really thought it was the team that contributed the most. Aww. And I feel like I contributed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Since we filmed that episode, or that task until now, I, I have a confession to make. I had actually already done that escape. <laughs> so you guys were like, I'm sure totally fine and competent in your individual room. Everett and I, I just was like telling Everett, oh, this is exactly what we need to do. This is, and you were, you were great. Like you were doing a great job. <laughs> and then working with him very closely for the entire rest of the second part. No idea. Absolutely no idea. <laughs> wow. A lot of things have come to light. Is it going to change the point totals? No. <laughs> but it brings some great drama and laughter, so I'm all for it. I am ranking the helpfulness of the teams based on the four necessary things that were needed to leave that escape room. The fingerprint scanner, the iris scanner, the voice activation, and the amnesia module. Um, and can I have the numbers on which team did how many things? Yes, Everett and Quincy did two and a half tasks, and Dora and Amelia did one and a half. The half comes from the iris scanner, where Everett and Dora each put one eye up to the scanner. So, Wow, very tight, as tight as it can be, not <laughs> barring a 50-50 split. So, I think, by ruling of the task, Dora and Amelia get five points. <laughs> for being the least helpful, like most of my uh, teammates in most uh, group projects here at Yale. <laughs> and because it was so close, Everett and uh, Quincy, I'm going to give you four points. <laughs> you were almost as helpful, but edging out just a little bit. OK, but I do legitimately think for the 100.1, if you knew how the entire system worked and you knew how all the games worked without having to read the signs. Well, no, it was like, like I did it like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, in my defense, <laughs> Quincy was playing pretty clueless and basically just let me read the sign. Okay, well, but you're we can lie. You don't have to do Against you. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right, well, get on your feet. For the last time, here is the live task of the show. Woo! Find the five wax ceiling sticks hidden around the Crescent Theater. <laughs> the task ends when all five wax ceiling sticks are found. The person with the most wax ceiling sticks at the end of the show. <laughs> you may not begin yet. You may not begin yet. Wins. You may. Be you may begin when the head of tasks thanks you profusely. <laughs> Everyone, get back in your spots. <laughs> Everyone, get back in your spots. Not allowed to begin. Thank you. This is what a wax ceiling stack looks like. They're, the winner of the entire series is going to need these for when they stamp their tasks with their victorious new head of tasks to stamp. And so, contestants, as we draw to our last task of the entire season, I just wanted to say from the very bottom of my heart, and for all I put you through in these past few months, just all I can say truly. Second with 19. 
Queen. After playing second fiddle for so long this entire season, I'm happy to give you your first win of the season! <laughs> Divine looking. Everyone give a Quincy round of applause! Now, if I may have your attention for one last moment, we have one final thing to announce. The winner! of the entire season! Woo! I think there's no better way to do this than just doing it. So, Ashley, with a tear in my eye, please read out the final point totals for this entire season. So, in last place, with 65 points, is Dora. Woo! Next up with 70 points is Everett. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I think I start with first place. A man who has played second fiddle his entire <laughs> time this season who has been continuously blue-balled, having wins <laughs> taken away from him at every turn. Quincy, you are second place. <laughs> Seventy-two points, Quincy is in second place for this season. And finally, with seventy-five points. Everyone, please give a huge round of applause to the media! Thank you all, and good night! Woo!